All right, we're getting real with you today. We're busy working mothers of four kids each. That's eight all together, and it sounds like a herd of elephants. It's too many kids. When we first started couponing, we had all the time in the world, but no money. And now, while we have a little bit of room in our budget, we don't have as much time. So, while we maybe don't have to coupon to get by, why would we not? Why would we leave that money on the table? I don't even understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so follow us along today as we answer the question, do you still coupon? And we'll show you how we are couponing in 2015. All right, my latest deal obsession is actually online grocery shopping. 2015 is gonna be the first year ever that we're seeing prices drop and become affordable for middle class Americans. These three shelves I purchased all through Amazon's subscribe and save program, and I got them all for less than I would pay, like 30 to 50% less than I would pay at, say, a Walmart. So my strategy there is I subscribe to at least five items in one month, which gives me 15% off, and I'm using Amazon's digital coupons, and of course I'm looking for sales. So the same strategy at the supermarket, stacking up my savings. The crazycouponlady.com covers Amazon deals now, so check us out and see if that's for you. One more thing I wanted to mention, this is my first test box from a new program called Amazon Prime Pantry, where I can purchase up to 45 pounds of pantry foods and pay only $5.99 shipping. So I bought everything under the sun, and just so you guys know, I compared these prices to my local Walmart, and I only paid 8% more and got it shipped to my house for free. So this is more convenient. Subscribe and save is where the savings are at, but try online grocery shopping in 2015. Instead of getting all of the deals at all of the stores each week, I'm limiting myself to one store to coupon at. And for me, that's Target. They have all of the best deals and you can stock up and save so much money. Plus, I'll be adding some deals at my local grocery store to save on all the grocery items that maybe you can't find at Target. Even though I'm choosing to focus only on one store, it's still entirely too much work to match those coupons with the sales. So that's where the crazycouponlady.com comes in. We've done all of the work for you and you can build your shopping list right here on our site. Select the things you want to buy, check the little box, and then when you're ready to print, you just go and print the list and take it with you to the store. All right, you guys, this year I'm ditching the Sunday paper and the coupons that come along with it. And while this might not work for everybody, it just takes a little bit too much time to keep it organized and I can get all of the deals that I need with just digital coupons. When we first started couponing in 2008, rebating apps didn't even exist. Now they're cropping up all the time. We've seen so many just in the last few months. So in 2015, I'll be using tons of rebating apps to save. My favorites, so get your phone out while I list these, is Cartwheel, Checkout51, Ibotta, Snap, Jingit, Berry Cart, Shopmium, Shrink, Savings Catcher, and Shopkick. So download all of those and then check the crazycouponlady.com where we're going to be teaching you when to use them, where to use them, and what else to stack with it. If I'm going to go to the trouble of finding a deal, you better believe I'm going to make it worth my while by stocking up. The principle of stockpiling actually might save you more money than coupons, which is crazy. I realize how that sounds. But instead of just printing from one computer, I'm going to print from two or three, which will get me four to six coupons and give me the ability to stock up on something that I love and that doesn't expire very quickly like cereal. All right, while stockpiling is vital to saving a lot of money, you of course want to be a courteous shopper and never clear a shelf. So if you ever have occasion to need like an entire case of cream cheese or laundry detergent or whatever it is, don't neglect special ordering. It's something that I'm gonna continue to do regularly this year. I just call my store, let them know the quantity that I want on the first day of the sale, then they have time to order it in, and I can come pick up a case from the back room, and then I don't even have to worry about the hassle of wondering if it's gonna be in stock. Okay, so how do you know how much to stockpile? It's like the million dollar question for couponers, but just remember that all sales cycle in the grocery store, so we're gonna see that about every six to eight weeks, we're gonna see the same stuff coming on sale in that sort of cycle. So like while this oatmeal is um, on sale right now for a great price of $2.50, it's gonna go back to regular price next week and then maybe in another you know, four to eight weeks, we're gonna see it on sale again. So don't over stockpile because there's nothing worse than wasting money on stuff that's just gonna go bad. Okay, so that's how we're making couponing work in 2015 with our crazy lives. We hope that you'll figure out the way to do it in your life and make it work for you. That's the great thing about couponing, yeah. is that really you can take it at whatever pace you want and save however much you want. Yeah. But if you're looking for the hardcore version, now we haven't abandoned that. We've got an ebook called 10 Days to Become a Crazy Coupon Lady, so we'll get a link to that in the video. And if you never wanna miss a deal, the easiest way is to actually join the 500,000 people that are subscribed to yeah. our free 
daily email. Just go do that right now. You'll save yourself <laughs> so much time. It's wonderful. Okay, so here's to a new year, to 2015, to figuring out how couponing is going to work in your life. Oh, why can't we do that? There we go.